Gosh diddly darn. Hi. What has occurred here? Weird. Mold autopsy. Oh, we've heard about mold, haven't we? The deceased was a something-year-old, something, with no significant past medical history. The subject was brought in after being discovered in the act active threshold in an early state of decay that is characteristically fungal-based in its appearance. During autopsy, the cadaver's plural cavities were revealed to be... Plural. I don't know what that means, because it's not plural as in multiple, it's a different kind of plural. 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 Revealed to be entirely filled by the fungus known as the mold, to an extent that medical staff were forced to put on decontamination suits. The procedure was also hindered by anomalies such as the deceased's high body temperature and undulating torso muscles, presumably, but not provably, caused by trapped gases. Routine samples, as well as tissue samples requested by Dr. Underhill, were successfully extracted, however their rapid retrogression outside of the host's body needs to be noted. Curious. You. Oh, right, yeah, this whole thing is just fucked by mold. Oh! Jesus, that made me jump. Didn't hear them fucking turn up. Christ! That made me jump hard. Whoa, 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 hang about. Hang about, give me all this health, please. What the fuck was hitting me then? Oh, fuck it. There's no... Hmm. I forget how you swap shoulders, god damn it. There we go. Music's still going. Why is the music still going? Don't like that the music's still going. It's making me nervous. I really need health. I'm nervous there's going to be one that jumps out of me. Oh no. Are we good? Are we good? Is that it? Guess we're good. Can I stand on this? Yeah. I'm fine to stand on it. Don't get infected that way. Hmm. I really like the pierce weapon. That was so useful then. Normally I prefer to be on the left, but just in situations like that, it was vital <laughs> that I wasn't. Uh, is this room about to become angry at me? I get the feeling that it is. I get the feeling we're about to have an angry room on our hands. And I'm at a third health, so that's not good. That ain't the one. I wish these things had health in them. That would be useful. Nothing of note in here. Okay. Yep, 
Are you guys not going to attempt to destroy my entire life? Good, a level six. Hello. Globe procedures. No unique procedures required. However, contact should be limited as some report feeling disorientated after touching it. Item is handmade, set in dark wood. The item itself is lacquered, hand-painted, spins freely on all axes. I don't know what lacquered means. While the continents and oceans are recognisably those of Earth, careful examination has revealed numerous something and other geographic additions that do not exist on our planet. One of these islands has a city marked on it named Tan Relio. There are no signatures left by its marker. Physical contact renders subjects dizzy and disorientated, with some reporting a feeling of unf unfamiliarity with their surroundings. This effect seems to grow r worse with pro prolonged contact, culminating in a sense of listlessness and depression. Suicide has been observed in ex-handlers. Fuck me. That ain't good. That ain't good at all. What's this asset thing we've got? A corrupted sample. Getting so many of these random... What do you call them? Assets, I guess, is what you call them. Is this where I came from? No. August 4th, 1964. We discovered the oldest house while investigating a suspected altered world event case in the New York City subway tunnels. The agents found their way up into the building. Once we became aware of it, it was there. For the rest of the population, it was hiding in plain sight. A, a slippery blind spot, seemingly discouraging observation. It's a, a place of power. An ongoing AWE of its own. Seemingly adhering to its physical outer constraints and yet constantly breaking the known boundaries of reality. It's unstable. Shifting. Note, for more details on control points and the research and process to stabilize and secure the core sectors, refer to a separate presentation. After extensive research and investigation, the Bureau made the building its headquarters on November 13th, 1968. The Federal Bureau of Control was never out in the open. This, this was always an obfuscated classified top secret operation so imagine our surprise when the building's observation resistant aspects began in some unquantifiable way to affect the bureau as a whole <laughs> oh he's so weird i love him i hope he's not dead i hope he hasn't been hissed up So I really want to be able to chat to him. Unless, of course, this is all his fault and he's deliberately done this. In which case, I hope he's dead. And if he isn't, I'm sure we can see to it that he is. How do we get in here then? Oh, this? I guess that's just a shortcut. So this is where we would have come out if we'd have been able to go straight through. Okay, Panopticon's up that way. Altered item cell. P6 is what the bureau calls Dylan. Oh shit, P6 cell breached. breached. Has the hiss found him? Are you there with him? Can you protect him? Uh oh. Ruh row. Shaggy? That's not what you want to hear. Have I already looked down this bit? Oh god, I can't remember. Yeah, I have, haven't I? <laughs> 
but I don't think I've fully explored wait no this is where I came from wasn't there another bit I hadn't fully explored I could have sworn there was something but maybe I'm losing my mind is there no control point for us to activate around here? Because it feels like it's been a while since we had one. <laughs> but okay, back to the ocean view we go. Oh fuck! Fuck me, that made me jump. Jesus Christ. That made me jump hard. Oh my god, this lag. That made me jump real hard. What is that scream? Oh. Huh. The room's been turned upside down. Okay. That's weird. What do we do with that information? Oh, there's blood seeping out from under that door. Okay, this one's the right way up. What's the third one going to be? Do, do, do. Uh, is that it? <laughs> What does doing that do? Doing that makes this one the right way up, and the key's just right there. Okay. Well, that seemed incredibly simple, but I'll take it, I suppose. Don't jump scare me again. It wasn't even that it was a jump scare, it was just unexpected to see him right there. Find Dylan. It's been a long time since Dylan and I knew each other. I've wondered about him. What kind of man he'd grow up to be. Dickhead, apparently. For him as they were for me. Maybe in here. They were even harder. Archives P6 cell and security. Wow. He's got his own he's got his own uh, directional thing. That's how important he was. P6 cell. Hi. What <laughs> Hi, Langston. Is there something I can help you with? I'm Jesse, the new director. I need to get inside. New director? Right, uh, well, okay, hello. I'm Frederick Langston, the Panopticon supervisor. It's not the best time for a tour. We have hiss everywhere, numerous cell breaches, and system failures across the board, but you're the director, so here we go. Damn straight. Founded by Zachariah Trench, the Panopticon is our state-of-the-art repository for all altered I items. I don't have time for this. Power and I was told Dylan Faden was kept here. Can you help me find him? Faden? Uh, sure. Darling wanted him somewhere secure and isolated away from people. He's in the maximum security cells, upper level. But there's currently a, uh, a pressing matter, ma'am. We've got an object of power loose in there, and it's wrecking the place. The Benikoff TV? It's a, it's a real doozy. Salvador took a team in to handle it, but no one's heard from them for hours. This is a Category 5 OOP we're talking about, and if we don't contain it soon, it will tear the Panopticon apart. And we don't want all those altered items getting loose, ma'am. No, trust me. Dylan's in there. Open the door, Langston. I'll handle it. If you say so. I uh, do. I usually tell first-timers not to touch anything, so... Uh, just do that. Here, I'll get the door for you. And Wait, I'm please, going to touch man, all the things. Call me Fred. Thanks, Langston. Subdue the Benikoff TV object of power, fourth floor. Numerous okay. cell breaches on every level. These his things are a bad influence. Thermos procedures. Uh, no unique procedures required. Altered status is suspected, but unverified. A blue coffee thermos with a white plastic cap and a logo of the Oh Dear Diner located in Bright Falls, Washington. The cap doubles as a mug. 
The item responds to formula I.16, yet no discernible altered effect has been discovered, other than keeping liquids warm for surprisingly long periods of time. It's also worth noting that the coffee from the thermos is always refreshing and strong, no matter its quality before being poured into the item. That's funny. The thermos was discovered on the shore of Cauldron Lake outside the town of Bright Falls. Both are known sites of a recurring AWE. See Bright Falls AWE case file for further information. According to witness statements, Alan Wake, excuse me? According to witness statements, Alan Wake, see Prime Candidate Program entry for further information, who went missing shortly before the discovery of the thermos, had been seen something collecting similar thermoses for an something purpose. That's hilarious. See, I haven't played Alan Wake, but I'm going to assume Bright Falls is part of Alan Wake. Hmm. Like, maybe the location it takes place? And I wonder if this thermos is in the game or something. That's really funny. I'm going to have to play Alan Wake at some point, aren't I? All I've played from Remedy is Quantum Break and this. And I've loved both of them. So... Sounds like it would be a good idea for me to play that one too. The Panopticon. The Panopticon. But that object of power might wreck this place before I find him. Well, let's claim this bad boy. Construct Charge. Charge holds up to three explosive projectiles that can stagger enemies caught in their blast radius. Huh. That sounds interesting. But... I really like what we've got at the moment. You can only hold two at once, so... Hmm. Was there a way... Was there a way to change? I don't remember if there was a way to change the ones you're holding. Like, I've got pierce and grip here. Oh, right, yeah, you can go into it and change it on the fly, but it's just you can't press Y. Ah, no, fuck it, let's not... Let's not buy it yet. Let's see how we do here. Yeah, there's a lot of dead fucking guards around. That's not good. We need to head to floor four. Any notes for us around here? <laughs> Just these normal everyday objects they look like getting locked up in maximum security. Well, it's quite a funny concept, isn't it? I do appreciate the good, good banter. So four was AI containment. Three's been scrubbed out. Two's archives and five is the P6 cell. Oh, and there's a lift. Lovely. Yeah. Let's head to floor Something 4 then. What went wrong with the bureau's plan? Straight up. Its director. Marshall made it sound like it was all Dylan's fault, but how much of it was what the bureau did to him? I don't think she's telling me everything. Hi. Creepy person. Oh, fuck. Do you want to piss off? I'd love it if you pissed off. That would just make my Christmas. There's nothing in that one. Ah, another control point. So soon. Is anyone there? Hi. Hi. Oh, it's the fridge we read about with the drawings on it. What are you doing in there? Oh, thank God. Look, someone has to watch this object at all times or it deviates. 
My super blade boot never showed up. Can you help me? Damn. I can't. I'm sorry. There's an emergency. I'll come back. I promise. Okay. Okay. Just don't forget. I can't stare at this thing much longer. <laughs> Fridge duty. Assist the agent in the Panopticon cell after Dylan has been found. What happens if I speak to him again? Nothing. Okay. That is hilarious. Uh, let's get that going. That is very, very funny. This one's all locked down. Interesting. Nothing in this one. Uh, I hear noises. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck me. Do we want to be checking out other levels? Hmm. Oh dear. They just spawned above me. Okay. Research hiss nodes. What does that mean? Oh, that's a... Yeah, I forgot. No. Go to central research. I'm a bit busy. A little bit busy, I'm afraid. Okay, was there anything... Did there in, anything end up being down here? Hello. Good to see you. Do you want to come and fucking keep the peace with me? That'd be... That'd be dandy if you would. Just you and me. Against the world. Oh boy, this... Done looks so good. Power. Oh, what? Need to cleanse it. Right here, okay. Oh boy. Fuck. What is going on? Cleanse the Benikoff TV. What the shit? We were stood on the f That was the floor. And then the whole- Oh, that is so trippy. That is so trippy. Is there gonna- I feel like there's not gonna be any... Uh... Things to read in here. I feel like this is just gonna be a straight shot to him. To him? I just called the TV a him. Look at these walls. This is so weird. I love it. I'm all about weird. Oh, fuck. I'm not all about these pricks. You look like a big prick. Eat this, big prick. Went straight through him. That's good. Cool. Guess there's no hiding from this one. What? Oh, fuck. Salvador. Hello, Salvador. 
You in a good mood, mate? Where's Salvador gone? There he is. Have him. Ow, okay. Had to go up close for the health. Got him. That oh boy. Salvador the, Salvador, the head of security. It should never have been accessible to low clearance staff in the first place. Lynn Salvador. Oh. Oh. That was cool. And when I got down to low health, what the fuck? When I got down to low health, I actually managed to get in there and get the health and survive. Okay, the TV. Another object of power going nuts. Look at this background. Here we go again. What the hell? What a cool fucking background. Oh, I love it so much. This game is so good. So good. Anchor Supplement. The crew of the White Ocelot first encountered this, a strange spherical phenomenon while fishing in the something. Witnesses describe it as a black sphere with a faint light behind it. It hovered just off the bow of the ship. The crew something by throwing a tin bucket which disappeared into the sphere. Soon after, the vessel lost stru structural integrity. The ship's metal rusted and fell apart within minutes. Uh, the, as the ship's ship sank, the sphere lowered into the water. A passing fishing vessel, called the Something, rescued the four surviving crew. Agents were dispatched to the White Ocelot's last known coordinates and began diving operations. On the ocean floor, the agents found the sphere. The ship was entirely destroyed except for its anchor. As agents lifted the anchor off the ocean floor, they noticed the sphere behaved in conjunction with the anchor, moving and stopping as one. Contact with the sphere was avoided, but handling the anchor proved harmless. The item was transported to by the something to the US port of somewhere. Upon arriving in New York, it was brought to the bureau via the something else. Cool. All right. Why can't I pick this up? Weapon mods full again? Are you having a giggle? Well, I'll sort that out off camera. Time to cleanse this bitch. Oh, it didn't take us into a... Oh, no, it is. <laughs> Use the TV or babysitter. Levitate or superhero over the obstacle. Use levitate to complete the astral plane challenge. Excuse me. Levitate? Maybe that's what I need to get across to the anchor. Hold A to levitate. Keep holding A to levitate higher. Okay. It wouldn't... Hmm. Did I hit a ceiling or something? I can keep holding it here, but then... I can't just go indefinitely. Oh, and it seems like it runs out after a little bit as well. It's also based on momentum, so because I was going down there when I started levitating, I couldn't do anything about it.
Yeah, it's not. It's definitely not indefinite. A while levitating to fall. A while falling to slow fall, safely controlling the descent. Do one. Man, my melee is pretty weak, huh? <laughs> Excuse me, sunshine. Am I supposed to be killing all these dudes? I can't tell if this is just a thing for me to get health back or if I'm actually... This is, is this what I'm meant to be doing? I think I'm just supposed to continue. Don't know if I can make it over there. I think I could have. Yeah, I could have. Got to learn the timings. How long you get in the air for. Yeah, this is definitely how I get to the anchor then. Oh, cool. You can use powers in the air. Oh, neat. Newsflash or APB. The hiss or static attempts to reach us. Our broadcast must survive. Oh, shit. The hiss is okay. trying to get control of the board. The TV. Now I... A CRT television built by Benikoff and Sons Electrics. The screen is still functional. The object can levitate itself off the ground to a maximum observed altitude of X. When bound, the object allows para-utilitarians to harness this effect for their own use. See report something for the results tested with Prime Candidate. I wonder if it was Prime Candidate, our brother. The object's currently bound by... Someone, the object was first discovered in a local news story from somewhere Kansas. A figure had been seen flying over buildings. The Bureau dispatched agents to town who discovered that a man named Something had bound himself to the object. Mr. Something was detained and the object was brought to the Bureau for study. You can find Dylan. Can you? <laughs> well, the criteria was that you needed to fly? Did we ever... I don't remember figuring that one out. Okay, back up we go. Oh god, it's so cool. So I can just do it like that. Or I can do it like that. Okay. I can't zoom again immediately after zooming, it seems. Hello. Wait, this room is different than it was, isn't it? I couldn't go down here before, could I? Could I? I don't remember. I don't recognise it. Search of Dylan in the maximum security cells on the fifth floor. Oh fuck, hello. Or alternatively, I could head back to the anchor. Probably. Probably should just keep going, I guess. Ow, dickhead.
less of that. 